What's up, cooks? It's Wednesday. We were recently at the Lodge Cast Iron Outlet store in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and it is time for a cast iron cookware haul. So it feels really good to be back in the kitchen and back in front of the camera again. It's been almost a month. We were gone for two weeks on the trip and you guys probably didn't know that, but uh, we're back now and I'm so excited. Um, we're back with a lot of fun things. So here's a little bit of highlights from our trip. So we drove a long way, like a long way, 1600 miles each way. But we got to see some fun things. We went to Lodge Factory Outlet. We saw tons of that. We went to knife stores like you wouldn't believe. We took beautiful drives through the Smoky Mountain National Park. Uh, we will be taking a look at our trip. It was through this park. It was amazing. And we saw a bunch of crazy chickens. But we ate food. Tons of it. I'm going to be showing you the food that we had on our trip. We ate really good. Okay, so I'll put a link down in the description to our tour of the Lodge Factory Outlet store. We went there about four years ago and they recently moved. They have a bigger store with more stuff and we had a fantastic time, right? I was like a kid in a candy store. More stuff is not necessarily bad, is it? <laughs> yeah. So if you're not familiar with cast iron cooking, cast iron is really great because it holds the heat, it hugs your food, and it allows you to get a really nice cook on it. Um, and it's fantastic. It's basically indestructible, right? I suppose if you dropped it off of a building on a cement, it would break. But when you buy a large cast iron, you're basically buying a legacy pan, right? As long as you season it and you keep it going and you keep it nice, it's a, it's a multi-generation cookware. Um, in that also, you know, there's a lot of people that have a lot of nostalgia about cast iron, which I definitely do, but there are some cons about cast iron. Um, cast iron does retain the heat. So if you're trying to do fast, quick cooking of vegetables like a stir fry, cast iron might not be the greatest option because you can't shut it off and get rid of that heat really fast, right? Um, it also tends to have a little bit of maintenance. We have an enameled version here that doesn't have that maintenance, but cast iron, raw cast iron does have a maintenance level. It also tends to be a little heavy, but with all those things, for some reason, we still really love it, right? It brings back, you know, that camp cooking, grandma's cooktop, right? Everybody loves cast iron. Part of it is the way it performs and hugging your food and retaining the heat. And part of it is just the nostalgia of it, right? So when I walked in that store, the first thing I saw was just massive. They do have all their cast iron in there, but they also have some side items. They actually had a little food items, some seasoning. So it's a great store to go to for cast iron and all other kind of pieces. So let's get to the haul. So the very first piece that I got was, whoa, so this is a rectangle griddle. Look at that. It's beautiful. Um, I don't know. I think I could put this on the barbecue and put a little onion in here because a lot of times we're grilling and I want something that doesn't necessarily have holes in it for small items. You can grill some onions on here. Yum, right? And along with that, I also got this. So this was $11.13 on the outlet price. It is a second. I also got this, it's an oval griddle, same thing. I'm thinking fajitas, right? I only got one of them because there's just two of us. So I can put a piece of chicken on here, a piece of steak, perfect for the two of us. So I have a little sunburn because I was in the car so long. Because my arm was on this side, I was on the passenger side, my whole arm got sunburned. 
So I have a little bit of rash from that. Um, I got these little things to go on the handles. So they're like silicone little cold mitts that slide on the handles. I got this one graton, uh, pan graton, right? They call it a serving dish. I don't know exactly what I'm going to use <laughs> for those. Potatoes. Potatoes. I can put two potatoes in there. Mm -hmm. Throw it in the oven. So that's how these work. Mm -hmm. So you can move this in and out and not get your uh, hands burned. So this next one is Eric's pan. Eric picked this one. What is it? This is a 13 and a quarter. And you see how it has these little helper handles? Of course, this guy is kind of heavy. Oh. So the side story on this one was in our other house, we were having a potluck. And I was out there, I had uh, the 15 inch with the long handle on the coals of the Weber, right? So you get ripping hot, like a thousand degrees. And we had marinated some fajita meat and I could literally cook it 45 seconds per side, it was done. If it was a little thick, maybe 90 seconds at the most per side. Well, the problem was Amy was inside the house, not paying attention, <laughs> leaving me to attend the flames. And I made a mistake of trying to lift it up. I, it was already at an angle like this with a long handle and everything. And yeah, imagine a grease fire. And it was raining a little bit, so we had a pop-up tent, right? Which is, you know, seven, eight feet high. It almost hit the tent. Meanwhile, our guests were sitting over on the patio, being protected by that umbrella, just sipping their wine. Boom! You know, the thing. whole neighborhood, because we lived in yeah. cul-de-sac, lit up. It looked like Star Spangled Banner all over again, right? By the time Amy came, goes, hey, what's up? The flames are coming back down, <laughs> just in time. So she didn't, you know, take away my burning permit. So he got this 13 inch double handle because the ones with the long handle are too long to fit in the Weber. Yeah. This is perfect for that. So, um, so the manager at the store helped me find this because I didn't know this existed. And I told him what my predicament was and he recommended this. Um, they might have a 12 inch or something that might be similar. But this was something that came to his mind. I liked it. So we're going to give this one a try. Right on the coals. So this is the pan. It's the um, dual handle pan. Okay, so you know I'm going to get a piece of enameled cast iron because it seems like these are, tend to be my daily drivers because I like maintenance-free cooking. So this is the 3.6 quart brazier. I have another brazier, but I like this because I like the color. <laughs> Uh, I was trying to get that uh, soft green color, but they only had one and it was gone. Someone, I was like, I saw it. I came around the corner thinking, oh, I'm going to come back to it. And next thing I know, it was gone. But you also thought it was a floor model, but it was for sale. Yeah. You know, just open box. So here is the brazier. Yeah. This is a 3.6 quart. Woo! Yeah, I'm liking this. Very nice. Very, very nice. So a brazier is something that you're going to cook like meat with a little bit of liquid. You're not going to stew it like a stew, but you're just going to cook it in a little bit of liquid so that breaks it down, becomes nice and tender and delicious. So my last piece, I got a piece of Blacklock. So Blacklock is their higher end line. It's made in the original Lodge uh, foundry. They redid it. It had burnt down <laughs> and they redid it and they reopened it and now they make Blacklock there. So it's seasoned more. It's finished a little bit more than their regular uh, line and it's also a little bit more expensive. <laughs> um, this I think is about 150 where a regular Dutch oven would probably be 70, 80. So it's like twice as expensive, but it is nicer. twice as fabulous, right? Yeah. Black Glock, South Pittsburgh, Tennessee, U.S. made, right? Ooh. <laughs> now this is a beauty. So this is a deep skillet. This is like, this is like cat, classic cast iron. This is gonna be amazing. 
So there's your little logo on the back. So this is the deep skillet, has the bigger handle, but it's shorter. It seems like this handle's a little shorter than the other one. <laughs> Ooh, that is a beauty, look at that. So this is a deep, a black lock deep skillet. So cooks, thanks for joining me for this haul. This was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun at that store. I'll put contact information down in the description for that store. The people in there are amazing and um, the prices are amazing too, right? So we have some cooking to do in this new Lodge Cast Iron. Happy Wednesday.